Gaming on Linux on an M1 Mac it has arrived. The Asahi Linux team have announced the release of their Asahi Game Playing Toolkit, which integrates Vulkan 1.3 drivers with x86 emulation and Windows compatibility. Plus, there's a bonus with Conformant OpenCL 3.0. Now, thanks to the Asahi Linux team making use of FEX or FEX to emulate x86 on ARM, Wine to translate Windows calls to Linux, and DXVK as well as VKD3D-Proton to translate DirectX to Vulkan, when you combine all of that with their Honeycrisp Vulkan 1.3 driver for Apple hardware, and we are now at a point where running Linux on Macs is good enough to even do some gaming. Of course, there is still work to be done for performance on some games, but you can play a lot of games, including some AAA games. For example, you can play games like Control, or games like Fallout 4, or even Witcher 3, and Cyberpunk 2077, which is a very intensive game, And but you're not going to have the full performance that you would in, in a regular system, but it's still awesome that you can do it. And you can, but you can get full performance on Hollow Knight and Portal 2. So there's a lot of stuff you can do already, which is just pretty, it's very cool the fact that this is even possible. Because you can't really game on Mac that well. And now you can game pretty well on Linux on Mac. <laughs> the process to do all of this is also fairly straightforward by using Fedora Asahi Linux. And the instructions will be in the link in the show notes for anyone who would like to do it. And for those who are wondering why would you want to do this, well, the Hardware from Apple these days are actually pretty solid. So if you can have the hardware that Apple provides and also still have a very good operating system with the Linux system, that's very cool. And the power you would be able to get from that, especially if you were doing like a dual boot system with Mac OS plus Asahi Linux with like with Fedora Asahi Linux and that sort of thing, there's a lot of potential there. And that in itself is good, but also more importantly is that if people were Mac users and wanted to switch over to Linux without this kind of work, that would be impossible. So this is fantastic for them because it makes the, it opens the possibilities for people to be able to try out Linux in a way that is actually reasonable for their hardware. So really cool work. And I'm really happy to see the gaming possibilities because that's just super impressive.